Hi Leo, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for January. Five of Pentacles, yeah, they're pretty consistent. This is someone who misses you. They do wonder about you, so you do share a past with them. They do care about you, but if you're if you're not communicating, you're not as expressive, they don't really know where they stand with you. The situation is very unstable. Why is the moon in reverse here? Sometimes the fool can be a new energy, um, beginning a new chapter. So, yeah, as I say, new chapter, Ace of Swords. So if that is the case, you're getting to know someone new. They're very curious about you. They want to know what you're about. They want to learn more about you is what I'm getting. But past or new, they have some uh, questions here when it comes to you. They're unsure is what I'm getting. How they'll be viewing you, we have Queen of Pentacles. So they're seeing you as the queen, someone who's mature, you're stable, very down to earth, easygoing, someone who's has a good head on your shoulders. You're very practical. Some of you already have children. So that seems to be your focus or just your day-to-day, -day. your work is what is keeping you preoccupied here is how they're seeing you. Why is Queen of Pentacles here for how this person will be viewing Leo? <laughs> Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Someone who's very motivated, someone who doesn't give up easily. Very driven, goal-oriented. I don't have much to say about that, but they find you to be... You're someone who's physically very attractive um, to your person, but you're not full of yourself, is what I'm getting. Some of you have a, a very natural beauty, or naturally handsome, that is coming through. There's something very approachable about you, despite you having everything going for you with the Queen of Wands. That is our queen that's known to be very sexy, and someone who gets a lot of attention, right? But you're not full of yourself. So yeah, I think they're viewing you in a positive light. How you'll be viewing them, we have temperance in reverse. Can be someone who's a bit opposite from you, but temperance in reverse is a card of impatience. So you may feel that this person has a bit of a temper or they're very impatient. Some of you may feel they're childish, but let's clarify. Yeah, childish, reckless, if I pair it next to the fool. Why is temperance in reverse here? For how Leo will be viewing this person. Yeah, five of wands. If someone who's very argumentative, they may have a short temper here. They're very combative, combative, competitive. Always wanting an argument. <laughs> or they don't back down easily. So <laughs> they're seeing you in a more positive light, whereas you see them as sort of all over the place. How they'll be feeling about you. We have five of pentacles, page of pentacles in reverse. I want to clarify why is five of pentacles in reverse for how this person. High priestess in reverse, four of pentacles. Yeah, this person's uh, very uncertain when it comes to you and how you receive them if they were to express themselves. They're having a hard time listening to their intuition. But they do hold on to you. They do hold on to you is what I'm getting. Yeah, they're very impatient. They're restless. There may have been separation and ending here. They want to come back. Temperance in reverse if it's someone from your past. If it's a new energy, um, air Leo, sorry, if I called you Aries, I was filming Aries before you. But if it's a new energy, this person has some healing to do from something that happened in their past. Some of them are very concerned about their child, their children. And that is throwing them off. Why is Page of Pentacles in reverse here? Wheel of Fortune. 
Yeah, a lot about their work is coming through. They're concerned about their finances. They're concerned about their work. There are some changes here that are not in their hands and they're having a hard time adjusting because we have a lot of fives in reverse for them. And that is someone who's either, there's a lot of obstacles before them and they're having a hard time dealing with this, these problems, these challenges. And others of you, yeah, they're just, there's fear of change here. Five, five in their energy. This is someone who's trying to focus on themselves and sort of go with the flow, with the fool. Because it's it's that mentality, I don't have control anyways, so what can I do? So they're not really trying to do anything here. They're not trying to manipulate or control, they're just taking their hands off the wheel is what I'm getting. And some of them are very much work focused, eight of pentacles. Some of them are coming out of a broken, I don't know, family or some home situation. They're coming through as a bit unstable in their feelings. So there may be some moodiness when it comes to you, but they are missing you is what I was picking up on strongly. If there has been separation. Their intentions towards you, we have nine of wands, the star in reverse. This is interesting because in their intentions, they have no hope. They're giving up. They're saying I'm emotionally drained. I can be someone who's feeling very needy, like they need you or they need someone. That is the vibe I'm getting. It's very clingy. It's like suffocating, right? Although they're coming through as the fool, that's what I'm getting. Or they're just, if you don't resonate with that, your person's not needy or codependent and just someone who's emotionally exhausted. They feel like giving up. But in their actions, we have Ace of Cups. That's an expression of love. It's a new beginning. If it's a new person, right, aces can be a new love. It's someone who's recovering or needs to take some time out and heal from whatever they went through in the past. Ten of Swords. Why is Ace of Cups here for this person's actions towards Leo? Six of Wands. Why is Ace of Cups here? Yeah, they're coming back around to express emotion to you. They're pretty consistent, which we like, yeah. Offers Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups. Those of you that are completely single, uh, you have multiple suitors is what I'm getting. If you're actively dating, I see Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. But a lot of you, it's the same energy that you are thinking about that will be reaching out. You'll hear from them. It's fast communication. Someone who's rushing in. This person has love for you. They miss you. Some of them may have to travel to see you. They're at a distance. You're feeling, we have five of cups, king of swords. You're feeling disappointed. Your energy is actually interesting. On one side, you're overtly emotional. You're looking back, reflecting at the past. And another side of you is coming through as more analytical, distant, looking at the facts, right? Trying to be objective here. So yeah, I think there's two sides of you. It's almost like your heart is saying one thing and your head is saying another. Um, so you may feel conflicted here. But yeah, there is disappointment, there's sadness. But you're also someone who's sorted in that you're saying, well, yeah, that sucks, but what do I do next, right? So it's almost... Because King of Swords is our planner, our strategizer. So you're trying to find that solution to whatever this disappointment is, is what I'm getting. Why is Five of Cups here? For how Leo will be feeling. I'm not taking that, it's too many. Why is Five of Cups here? Queen of Swords in reverse. Some of you may have had to establish stronger boundaries with this individual, which was difficult for you, right? But you have to do what's right for you. So you're putting your emotions aside and you may have blocked this energy or you're not going out of your way to communicate. And others of you, it can be that this energy that you're grieving is someone who's blocked you or they've ghosted something. Why is King of Swords here? 
this may have been a breakup because we do have a match here right but the queen is in reverse why is king of swords here for how leo will be feeling star aquarius energy some of you could be dealing with an aquarius some of you may even have had children with this person but a strong soulmate bond here there's memories you miss them but yeah you're trying to put yourself first and you're healing some of you may be learning or studying and you're sort of diverting your focus from your emotions your relationships to something related to your work your studies and that is helping you heal that is coming through as well in your outcome leo we have six of swords upright yeah that detached energy is carrying down into your ever there's something from your past that was holding you back but it's that mentality that you know i need to get up i need to get things done i can't sit here and mourn whatever these three cups that have fallen i need to leave the past where it belongs some of you may be considering relocating moving but there's some sort of transition here when it comes to your energy why is six of swords here for leo's outcome whoa that really flew out let me grab it so this came out like this we have three of pentacles devil some of you are moving away straight up from someone who's juggling a third party situation or just something that was very toxic that is what you're leaving behind here why is six of swords here for leo's outcome yeah some of you are moving relocating for work your studies but i was telling you you're learning something look at he has his head down he's working on perfecting some skill so yeah it's all about personal development here uh, for you but i see learning is what i keep getting you're doing well you're very much focused on some i'm getting your career your finances this person's outcome we have justice interesting i feel like they're still watching you somehow or they're very curious about you that is how they started the reading out as well right someone who was wondering um, they weren't quite sure where they were where they stood with you so this is someone who's sort of taking a step back and assessing you sometimes justice can be a decision one has to make why is justice here for this person on leo's mind King of Swords and Reverse Two of Swords. Blocked off energy in their outcome. Be very careful because I was telling you this is someone who's missing you. They're wanting to come back, right? Ace of Cups. But how they're ending their re reading is very blocked off, guarded, not revealing much emotion. So they may communicate, be very vulnerable, express emotion and pull back again. And for those of you that this has been a pattern, um, be careful is all I'm saying because you're doing very well in your energy and this can be someone who's runs hot and cold um, Keeping you stuck with the five of cups you're going around in circles Right, this may be a karmic cycle with the wheel of fortune the Libra energy here strong And Persia But they will be coming in with communication definitely i am seeing love here and it is true love uh leo that's not what i'm saying this person does have feelings for you they miss you but those of you this has been going on for a while this person needs to get themselves together is all i'm saying right but I definitely see self-love here in their outcome, which is good for them. They need that. They need to work on themselves, right? But they also still watch you. So they haven't completely let go of your energy. If this is a new person, they definitely have their eye on you. They're very attracted physically and emotionally, but there's also some residual energy from their past. Let's get you this love fortune teller, Leo. Well, overcoming obstacles. I gave you, I told you about the fives, right? With the challenges, and this person was having a hard time coping. That is what is going on. Overcoming obstacles. 
there's a lot going on. They're, they're learning some valuable lessons here uh, from the universe. And some of you, it can be because you are seeing them as someone who's impatient. So it may be a, a lesson of patience that they're learning with the universe intentionally putting blockages in front of them. Wow. Yeah, so look at that. Five again. I don't make this up. We have obstacles ahead. I think this is the first time ever I've seen these cards come through back to back. And we have focus on your success. Some of you, these blockages have to do with their finances, their school, their work. Yeah. We have there's potential but needs work, hiding something. I don't think they are the most vulnerable with you from the get-go. They weren't. We have jealousy. So uh, I don't see jealousy in your energy because you're embodying Aquarius. Uh, likely this person because they are coming to us more needy, clingy. We have falling out of love. This is your energy. Some of you are falling out of love. But we also have tempting offer here. And second guessing, this person's, they're inconsistent, I was telling you. And because of some healing that they need to do, really. You're detaching from someone and the outcome. Did this person choose someone else? We have, I chose the other person because they don't challenge me like you do. Every day I wonder if I made the wrong choice. Well, if that is the case, Leo, there is regrets here, right? If there wasn't regrets, why would they be wanting you back here? We also have, I feel butterflies when I'm around you. You're very intimidating. Yeah, you're, you have your stuff together. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. I came alive in your presence like I was on top of the world, bringing out the best in me. So this person is giving you a lot of credit here. Yeah, they're very hopeful that they'll see you again with the Ace of Cups in their actions. You'll definitely hear from this person is what the cards are indicating, although they have little to no hope. I've called you so many times, but I hung up before it rang. I get so nervous. Some of them are just afraid of your reaction, rejection. They just might just be a very insecure person in general. Ooh, is this person? Ooh, I'm obsessed with you. I'm so crazy for you. I do whatever it takes to always have you in my life. What's interesting for me is that you're coming to us very detached, not bothered. And this person's like all about you. And some of you are detaching because there's two people. I love the two of you for different reasons. It's been really difficult making a choice. And justice can be a decision. This person is too inconsistent. You can't rely on them is what I'm getting. Which you're realizing here as well. Let's give you some advice saying keep going yeah you're healing right i was telling you with the star we have healing and health recovery when it comes to your mental physical emotional health that's beautiful take a chance and say yes yes to that offer yes to romance and yes you are ready for this so you're ready for that new cycle new chapter you're ready to move forward some of you there's new opportunities to date right new people and we have connection you will sense an energetic connection with someone trust it their company will bring many blessings so if it's not reconciliation with this person which they are coming back around or they're wanting to four of swords in reverse ace of cups um it's someone new coming in that you'll have a strong this there's an energetic link here and there's your guides are saying it's a thumbs up say yes I'm not taking those, but what I am being drawn to is commitment here. Some of you are attracting, manifesting long-term. 
We have you may get engaged or fully dedicate yourself to something that will be long lasting. Some of you may find love at a distance here because I was getting something about relocation. And we have curiosity. Reclaim your curiosity and have some fun. Don't take life so seriously. Yes, Leo, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.